week, I-STEP testing starts in Indiana. The high-stakes test comes on the heels of a school year interrupted by winter weather. And memories are still fresh of all those testing glitches that disrupted the testing last year. WSBT's Rachel Lake talked with some parents and students today about their concerns as they head into the I-STEP. Rachel? Diane, the I-STEP glitches you just mentioned made headlines last year. This time around, though, some parents are more worried their kids haven't had enough time to prepare for the test because of all the snow days. Audrey Guyberson, a third grader at Mary Frank Elementary School in Granger, is enjoying a relaxing Sunday with her parents. But tomorrow may not be as fun. It's her first time to ever take the I step. I'm probably going to have a little struggle because it's a new experience for me and I've never really done something this hard before. I step testing begins this week for Indiana schools. I feel like my daughter's just not ready to take the ice step this year and we just feel more unprepared especially since this is our first year taking ice step as third grader so we're a little stressed about this week many area school systems had to cancel somewhere around 10 days of class because of the weather there were also two hour delays taking away more time from instruction audrey's mom samantha stackowicz says she doesn't feel her daughter had enough time to prepare for the ice step i absolutely think that the I step should have been pushed back at least another month. Standardized testing is not my idea of the perfect way of measuring achievement, but given that that's what the program is, I think we're in pretty good shape for it. Tracy Thomas's daughter, Julia, is a third grader at Marquette Primary Montessori Academy in South Bend. Thomas says she feels her daughter is ready for the I step and she's not too worried about a repeat performance of those computer glitches that wreaked havoc with testing last spring. I'm less concerned about there being a glitch that might occur and more concerned about the testing process being clearly explained and the test itself being a manageable experience. The company that administered the test online last year, CTB McGraw-Hill, will be administering the ISTEP again this year in Indiana. Reporting from the Live Desk, Rachel Lake, WSBT Channel 22 News.